Hey everyone, and welcome back to another Jazzy Wicks candle review. So I am home and trying to get my reviews back up to normal. Um, I didn't post one out on Wednesday, just had a little break. Um, and today I'm starting off with something a bit different. These melts are from Primark and they only cost me £2, I believe. I was actually in Spain, so I'm trying to think of the Euro to Spanish conversion. They was roughly £2. And as you can see, if I just have a look here, so you do actually get one, two, three, four, five, six squares. Um, I did use two in my Scentsy warmer. So obviously bearing in mind a tea light warmer might be a little bit more powerful. Um, but I thought for the price, I'd give it a go. The other scent that they had was clean cotton. Um, and I just grabbed this one because, oh, there we go, two euros. I just grabbed this one because I liked the sound of it more really, pink peony. And for two pound, I'm gonna say, they was absolutely lovely. Um, not the strongest, but I'm not going to complain because it was just two euros. Um, I really enjoyed it. I'd say for a throw rating, it's it's going to be like a six or seven out of ten, which it doesn't sound high, but to be honest, for two euros, I didn't expect a lot. But it was absolutely, it was lovely. I think in a smaller room, it would have been really, really nice. I was burning it literally just in in my open plan like dining room kitchen area so it did have a struggle to try and reach but my mum's home at the moment as well and she could reach she could smell it more than what i could so obviously everyone's nose is different but yeah absolutely lovely for the price i'd be really interested in going back and getting the clean cotton one um, and as you can see if i zoom in here you can see it says peony rose and apple i didn't get any apple from it it was very florally um, a very light floral scent so if you're not a big fan of like the strong florals you might really enjoy this one um, and yeah, I think it would have been a little bit better if you used a tea light warmer because obviously electric burners to tea light warmers are different. They do sometimes make the performance of the melt different. But I just, I can't complain for the price. I did have to use both to make the smell come out as much as it did. But for the price, you're not, you don't mind when it's only that much money. But I would be really interested in trying the clean cotton one just to see how it is. And you can see they're, they're pretty thick. Um, and yeah, I used two squares in this so in a smaller room you might get away with one but yeah i'm i'm really really impressed um i've had a candle from primark before um quite a long time ago when they first started doing them and i wasn't impressed with it at all so when i saw that they was doing these i thought oh my god i've got to grab one just to give it a go for the price and i am pleasantly surprised so if you come across these and you do, for example, use a tea light warmer or you have one, I definitely think it's worth giving it a go. I don't know if they are bringing out more scents or if the store that I looked in only had those two, but pleasantly surprised for the money. It's it's definitely worth it even just as having one as a backup or or just even if you gave these out as like little gifts and like little stocking fillers, they it's it's really enjoyable. I'm surprised at how nice it was but yeah definitely i'm not saying that it's a really strong throw because it isn't but i'm just saying it's good for the price very very good for the price and obviously clean cotton might be even stronger so next time i am out and about i will try and get my hands on that one to review it for you as well but yeah i'm pleasantly pleasantly surprised for the money i don't think you can beat it um but thanks everyone for watching and i have quite a few new goose creek um, and Yankee Candle Crumbles to get burning. And I also have an exclusive Wax Addicts Melt Shot to review for you that will be coming out very soon. So as always, thanks for watching and I'll get some new reviews out for you soon.